don't know. Nah, I'm going crazy right now. Are you here with us? Are you sitting on the bed? No. Hey. So funny. And you can see the look on the boy's face. He's like, what's wrong with Why are you crying? So him nor his brother actually understood what was about to happen. Physically hung back to back with one rope around both of their necks. It took 21 minutes for those poor boys to die. Abigail, if you're in the jail, can you answer yes? Yeah, like it just walked really fast right by. Was that open? No. No. That was closed when we went in. <gasps> Somebody was just standing behind me. I swear to God. I swear. What's up, men's fam? Welcome back to another haunted series. We are here in the Dorchester Jail in Dorchester, New Brunswick, right now. Chelsea and I have taken on the honor to come and spend the night. We are the only ones in here right now. A matter of fact, this place is so haunted, people do claim to hear and see apparitions throughout this whole building. Even the owner said that this place is pretty freaky at night, too. And they even said, too, that there's been, I think she said, 18 different paranormal teams that have come here and they've all gotten like great evidence. Yeah, not only that, in 1936, the last double hanging was taken right here, right in that spot where we are right now, where that black mat is right there. That's where it took place, and we are on death row right now. We are gonna investigate this tonight. I don't know what's gonna come, we both are very excited. We just stepped foot in the door here, and we don't know what to expect. Did you hear that already? Mm -hmm, like the tap. Yeah, there's like a tap or something. Well, even like when I was taking my photos of the death row jail, and I was looking here, and I, like I saw someone standing at oh, the really? doorway. Yeah, that's why like I was like taking a triple look because I'm like, did I see that? I think I saw the way you were looking at. Yeah. I, I knew you were like trying to. We're gonna crack down on the spirits here and see who will talk to us, see who we can communicate with. I'm gonna get more into the haunted history as we go on throughout the night and see. Possibly if we catch an apparition, I probably will be leaving an overnight camera while we sleep So maybe something will come up. Maybe something will move. Hope you guys are ready for this adventure If you guys are new smash that like button go and check out our other stuff if you guys haven't done so I did pin a comment down below so go and check that out if you guys are new other than that We're nervous. We don't know what to expect and as the night goes on, you know crazy stuff might happen So hope you guys are ready for this adventure. You ready babe? Oh, I'm pumped. Let's do it. Let's go. Look at that, guys. I say ours is better because we still have all the bars, all the original artwork, oh. everything. Yes. And uh, a man. And a dead guy, <laughs> of course. No jail is complete without a dead guy. Come on. <laughs> That's a, I mean, from a movie called Snow Falling on Cedars. Oh, cool. And that uh, came out in the early 90s. He's supposed to be Ethan Hawk. And then I see your little dolls. I love that. The creepy dollies, yes. The twins there, they are from the 30s. Whoa. I think Whoa. 1937. And the nun doll there, she's from the 60s. <laughs> so cool. Wow. It's kind of terrifying, but it's cool. I love the creepy dolls, so. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's all kinds of creepy stuff around the jail. We have some human skulls, a shrunken head. Oh, uh, cool. Some wow. movie props and hell yeah. 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 <laughs> Wonderful. I'm trying to be So this is your guys. You guys are more than welcome to sleep up here if you'd like tonight instead of a cell. Um, if it makes you feel better, this room was originally a female cell. Okay. Uh, so it was a co-ed facility for about 40 years. That's why there's bars on the windows. Cool. Um, so the females have a lot more privilege and freedom than the men did. Good. Uh, <laughs> So that you guys are welcome to, if you yeah. don't want to sleep up here, you're welcome to hang out up here. There's a little welcome thing for you guys there. Together, and this is where the females were, so they'd have about four to eight females here at a time. Um, mostly just thieves, prostitutes, bootleggers. They were housed here for relatively short periods of time. And then this room here actually used to be the library, and it was just a library that separated the females from the death row inmate. Okay. Um, this door here doesn't actually lock, so if you guys want to be locked up in death row for a picture, go right ahead. Oh, wow. 
Wow. That is so cool. So this is death row right this here? This is death row. And everything actually used to happen right here inside of this room. So it was all death by hanging in this jail. And so there used to be a noose that hung from the ceiling here. And there used to be a trap door in the floor. And they would physically drop these inmates underneath to the cell block. They used to incarcerate people directly beneath us. And they would hang these guys in front of the people downstairs. Wow. It was, uh, so the people that are downstairs beneath us, it's called the dark side. And those guys were locked up individually for 23 hours of the day. That was like the murderers and rapists and stuff. Um, they didn't get along well with others. And uh, so they, they were either downstairs for an extended period of time or they were downstairs waiting for their turn to come up here and be executed. Mm. So it's just a little reminder of what was to come for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, just two cells back here. And they would typically try and house death row inmates here for at least 30 days prior to their execution date. And uh, this picture right here is actually Arthur Bannister saying his last goodbyes to his mom. And this picture is taken right outside of this cell here. You can actually see the hinge on the door just behind his head here. Um, so they're standing right here. And then the gentleman behind the mom there, that's actually the executioner. Okay. Uh, fittingly enough, his name is Mr. Killam. Mm. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> Good job, friend. Right? <laughs> um, so, uh, so him and his brother, they were the last double hanging in Canada, and they were essentially hung because of their mother. Oh. So, mom uh, was a bit of a promiscuous woman, we'll call her. She was going around town sleeping with a bunch of different men, and then she was going around telling these men that she had had their baby. In reality, what she was doing is pushing a doll around town in a carriage. Ooh. So her sons, um, the boys, they were 19 and 21 years old, and they were inbred, and they had some mental health issues. So they were very childlike. Mm -hmm. um, they were like a six or seven year old child. And mom had actually manipulated the boys into going and kidnapping her baby so she could get money from these men. Wow. Well, back in 1936, you did as you were told. You didn't ask questions. And where the boys didn't really have the mental capacity, they just did as they were told. Mm -hmm. And so they went and kidnapped the baby, and when they had left, uh, the house was set on fire. And the mom, the dad, and another baby that were in the house ended up dying as a result. So they were sentenced to death for murder times three and kidnapping, and mom was only ever sentenced to six months in jail for masterminding the entirety of the crime. So she was in the very first room in this hallway here in the VIP suite, and her sons were in either one of these cells for eight months. Um, but trials and stuff were a lot quicker back in the 30s. Yeah. There was a lot less major crimes. Um, so it was a pretty quick process. And uh, she had already served her six months and was released by the time that the boys were home. Um, so the executioner is just keeping a close eye to make sure she's not trying to pull anything funny there. Mm -hmm. And you can see the look on the boy's face. He's like, what's wrong, Mom? Why are you crying? So him nor his brother actually understood what was about to happen. Uh, that's upsetting. Yeah, so the boys, um, the reason why they were the last double hanging is because they were actually physically hung back to back with one rope around both of their necks. Whoa. Whoa. It took 21 minutes for those poor boys to die because there wasn't enough tension around the rope to actually snap their necks, so they were strangled to death. And they realized it's far too cruel and inhumane to continue to execute people like that. And mm -hmm. they abolished the double hanging sentence after Arthur and Daniel for very good reason. Yeah. Um, and those boys are actually buried out in the backyard with about 27 other inmates that were executed here over the course of the years. Um, they're all unmarked, so I can't tell you where exactly they are, um, but we had someone metal detecting out in the backyard two summers ago, mm -hmm. and they accidentally dug up a piece of human bone fragment. Oh. Come to find out that majority of the inmates that are buried in the back, they're not buried in a pine box or coffin. It's just a hole four foot deep and the guards would put lye or lime over the bodies to make them decompose. Mm -hmm. So over the course of the last 80 to 100 years, with the thaw and freeze, a lot of that bone mass has started to shift closer and closer to the surface. Okay. So we don't do anything in the yard back there anymore. Yeah. Um, we do eventually plan to locate everybody and give them all a cross marker as a sign of respect. Um, we've had a few people come here and they've wanted to pay their respects to their loved ones and I can't tell them where they are. And that makes my heart sad. Yeah. So we want to find them for that reason too. Eventually I'd like to be able to have a garden and stuff. 
And then this one here, that's a full grown adult female and she's about 100 to 150 years old. And she was used for medical research purposes. She has some deformation around her nasal cavity and her cheekbone there. Oh yeah. Um, in here, that's a real shrunken head. No. Uh, that came out of uh, one of the museums in Niagara Falls. It was part of uh, the Billy Jameson collection. Um, Billy Jameson, he's passed now, but he was uh, the like one of the top collectors of mummies and kind of morbid things around the world and he actually lived in Toronto. Oh really? Um, so my husband uh, met his fiance after he had passed and got a few things out of his collection there. Um, this walking stick came from Germany and after the Holocaust it was very common for the Nazis to actually make things out of Jewish people. Mm -hmm. So the handle there is actually carved out of somebody's leg bulb. Oh. Uh, they used to make skin bound books and skin bound lamps and different things like Jeez. that. We're going to actually start our investigation in a few hours, but I'm going to call it here and get ready. We're actually setting up now, charging our batteries and whatnot. Going to get everything ready, the whole nine yards, and go and investigate the spot tonight. So, yeah, this, this is just so cool. There's so much stuff in here. The saw? Stuff from the real song movie? I know. Okay, I'm gonna play a clip right here. I didn't really film it much, but there are a few props. I think there's two props from the Saw movie, yeah. or from two of them actually. Three props. From how much? The from fourth, and, fourth the and the fifth. Yeah, I'm gonna play a clip right here, and this is her basically telling us that it's from the movie, and they got other props in here too. This was from which Saw movie? Saw four, and then that one there's from Saw five. That light there? Yeah, the dentist light. Yeah, that is so cool. And then that forensics analysis sign is also a sign from the Saw movies. Whoa! So cool. This is one of my favorite spots already. This is my favorite spot. I know. Yeah, it's definitely like my favorite place I've ever stayed. Yeah. B and B style, anything. And there's a lot to do. So, well, you ready, baby? Come on, pumped. Let's do it. Yo, the energy in here is nuts. It's heavy, eh? It's very heavy in here. It's like, you can really feel that they're watching, you know? Oh. oh, I think I just see water. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be real, guys. We're the only ones in here tonight. I wonder if there's any uh, artwork in this one. I know the other ones had artwork. Whoa, you can feel the heaviness in here, eh? Like, it like it's bad. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real, we're the only ones in here tonight. There's no other guests staying in the building. The owners actually, in fact, live in the building, but they're the only ones that are here right now. And it's a family of three, so they're not gonna be noisy. They usually say that their guests usually walk around and stuff like that, so they leave them alone. But uh, other than that, we're the only ones in here. So if you hear anyone talking, anyone at all, that's not us. Good chances are it's them, but good chances are that it could be a spirit. So keep your ears and eyes open as we go on. You know, what's this? So, so that's like um, a board for the staff. Yeah, so this I can would tell. Have been like kind of where everyone is who had court, who was on parole, who went AWOL, needs to go to the hospital. So it's just like their board, so they would have had all the inmates posted yeah. on it. And she said it was co ed. It was collected. So where we're staying, actually on the VIP room, was where the women would stay. Yeah. So all the women would be in that one room that we were in, or we are in. Yeah, I was gonna say like I didn't, I didn't even, like I had no idea what that is. Mm -hmm. It looked like a like it's, it's a bulletin board. Yeah, yeah, know? it's for but. the for the staff. So now I know I mentioned this in the intro, but right where that mat is right now, they had originally a hole in the floor, and that's where they did the executions. The final last two people that were hung were two boys that were brothers. Mm -hmm. 
and they were fairly young. They were like 19 and 21, and they were hung right here, like right, literally, right there right now. But the, like the super morbid part of all, like hangings is obviously very morbid. So the extra morbid part about the hangings here was that it would drop down in the other inmate section, so all the other inmates would who lived downstairs it. would see everyone getting hung or hanged. Yeah. I think every inmate. Yeah, every inmate, because this is only the two death row, and then all the other inmates right. were downstairs. Yeah, and she was also explaining, like, the that's closed over there is where they would put all the pedophiles, mm -hmm. all the sex offenders and stuff. They actually used to keep all the sex offenders over there, and the brothers who were actually hung here, they were hung by one rope together. She wanted the boys to kidnap a baby for her because uh, she was trying to play it off that she had a baby with one of the many men she slept with. So they can, the mother convinced the two boys to go and try to kidnap a baby, but when they were doing that, they lit the house on fire, which killed the family, the family and, and then stuff. they kidnapped the baby. So, but she was also saying too that they were 19 and 21, but their mentality was only like a six and seven year old because they were inbred and had like disabilities and mental health. So they didn't actually know what they were doing. Before we actually go on, I'm going to give you guys a tour. But the saddest thing is that the owner actually mentioned that the boys didn't know that they were going to be hung. Like, there's pictures around here. They're smiling and all like that. Like, they thought they were just getting their picture taken. But let alone, they had no idea that they were going to be hung. Like, I don't know. Like, his face kind of, like, it's not worried, you know? No, like, like how I kind of read it and how she read it as well. I was just saying, like, he's kind of looking at her and like, why are you crying, Mom? She was also saying too that when, because the brothers had to be back to back when they were being executed, and he looked at the priest and he's like, why do I have a rope around my neck? It's really tight. Can you loosen it? So like he didn't understand what was happening to him. The saddest thing too hearing that story, she was telling us that the priest just said, pray. Yeah, say your prayers. Say your prayers. And then it took them 21 minutes mm -hmm. for them both to die. Well, they just literally, like, we're standing on it right now. Yeah. Is where they were handy. In 1936. Mm -hmm. She was also telling us that her husband collects a lot of stuff. So these are actual real human skulls. Like that's a woman right there. And that's a man. I think she said that was 350 years old. But those are real human skulls. Yeah, so they were used for research yeah. back in the day. And then he was able to collect them. But she said that that one is a grown woman's head. But she has some deformities in the, the nose and the... With cheekbones and then also that cane too has a lot of history so that actually came from the holocaust and um, back in the day they would actually make things out of jewish people's bones so this was hand carved from a leg bone from a jewish man that's crazy mm -hmm. and there's even a real shrunken head yeah that one's i don't know if you guys can see that but it's just right there. Also, this is one of the Bannister brothers when they were really young here. And yeah, I guess I was taken moments before they were killed. I know this book had a picture of one of the brothers and he seemed really happy, he didn't know what was going on. I don't know if it was this book or this book. There's that photo kind of shrinking down. This guy's last name is Killam. Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of ironic, him. he was the executioner, but yeah, like, look, there's, like, no worry in his face. Because he had no idea that he was going to get hung, you know? He got hung on June 20th, 1936. Whoa, the mother was sent to Kingston Pen. Oh, really? That's what it says. No way. So, I know that the boys were sentenced to eight months in death row. Um, and the mother was, since she was like the mastermind of all this, she got sentenced six months. Yeah, but released after two. But released. She was just released in time for to say goodbye to her boys. See if we can get anything out here. Because I know, I know these are actual human stuff, so maybe some energy. Oh my god. Yo, you can't make this stuff up. No. Still energy on that. Wow. It's coming more from here. It's gone now. Oh, no, it's just there for a second. 
Is there anybody here with us? Can you make this go to red? There's no way. There's something here. Are the brothers here? Daniel? Is Arthur here? Or Daniel? Yeah, that was weird. Like it's not going off anywhere. I forget what movie she said that was from. It's crazy. There's a lot of movie props in here, and as you go on, there's something really cool that we're gonna show you before we start the investigation. I yeah. think she said they're from like the 1930s or something. Yes, so these two dolls here are called the twins. They're from the 1930s. Uh, the nun is from the 1960s. It's creepy as shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at the, it's a saw. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's right, that's a saw. Wait, what? What just happened? That was super strange. So, literally come down here and get like a wicked, wicked, just like a rush to my head. So then I quickly like cut the cord and I feel fine. Seriously? Yeah. No way. Yeah, legit. Like my, I don't have a headache, but it was like a big rush right here on this side of my head. Yeah. So I just right away just cut the cord and then it's gone. I don't feel it. As we go along down here, there's something I really want to show you guys before we start the investigation. And there's a lot of movie props in here. The owner's husband actually collected a lot over the years, but... Yeah, there's a lot of markings in here. Left all the inmates graphics on the wall that they did in pencil. They covered up a lot of the, the bad ones, but they left a lot of the original, like... That was done by an inmate. In fact, all of this was done by inmates. And they covered up the bad ones and all the swear words and stuff, but... Look at the color of the paint. That's swastika? No, it's a it's dollar a man? sign. Oh, it kind of looked like that for a sec. But I've... look at... Like, that was must have been back. Well, she said everything was green, right? Yeah. So, back in the day, everything was green, so that was probably the real color of the wall. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know how they did that, though. Well... I don't, I think that was like way, way back in the days, so probably like the 1800s it was at, and it was still running until... Yeah, they probably repainted it to the 1900s. These are all... Original. Yeah, these are all from inmates here. Yeah. Which is really cool how they kept the artwork. Like, even look at that one up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's scary, eh? The hell is that, though? I don't know. <gasps> Hello? I don't know if you heard that, but that is coming from outside. There's a noise coming from outside, but I heard something like move down there. Hello? There's this movement, like shuffling down there. I swear there's shuffling. Okay, that's coming from outside, but... I don't know, did you guys hear that from the camera? Because I heard, like, straight up someone moving at the end of this room here. Like some pretty intense. Whoa, what the hell? 
Oh, this was the room that she was talking about. So this is the they room. have the most activity in this so room. So this is the room, it's called the poker room, because she was saying that there is a very strong presence in here who likes to poke people. He's not malicious or anything like that, or it's not like sexual by any means, but he just likes to poke people and he goes after women. women. Matter of fact, this is a pre-investigation. We're just going to do a tour for you guys. And basically tell you what we got told by the tour guide, aka the owner. But all of these, like straight up guys, like all of these graphics that you see on the wall, there's one right here, that's a drug. But all the writings on the walls are legitimately from past inmates. What does that even mean? I don't know, but if you've noticed too, there's a lot of crosses on the tops of the doors. Yeah, I've seen at least two to three now. Really? Mm -hmm. There's a newspaper here from 1962. August 30th. No way. Yes. Whoa. Wow, this one says heroin is my friend. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. I don't even know what the heck these these mean. Each time I make my mother cry, an angel dies and falls from heaven. That's just weird. I mean, imagine being locked in a cell for so long. I'm sure your brain's gonna go a little weird. Now for one of the coolest things that I've probably run into in my whole life. They have the original table from the movie Saw 4 and 5 here. Legitimately, this was used in the movie. Mm -hmm. That was a prop. And they also have this one, which was also a prop in the movie. Yep, that's the dentist light. And then this up here was also from... Yeah, that sign right there. I want to see so, if I can... That's so cool. Like, look at that. I know. Like, it was from the legit movie. And those are real handcuffs from the 1800s. Yeah, they're so small. Oh, what was that? Okay. From the corner of my eye, I just saw someone standing in that cell. Oh, I am not joking. I actually don't know. I don't remember. I don't and remember. The other one decided it's the shower. Yo, I'm getting a really heavy feeling in here. Hello? Did you hear that? It's like creaking of a door or something. Anybody down there? Yo, babe, I think I found it. Yo, there's footsteps coming from one of the cells, babe. Maybe it's someone outside? It's hard to tell. I think someone's outside, but that was inside. I don't know, this is weird. I might have to, we might have to just continue on. We might be getting that all night. I'm not gonna lie, we might be getting some footsteps all night here. A lot of the times people do claim to hear footsteps and see apparitions in here. Stuff even moves sometimes. And the owners actually have caught in some stuff. I'm going to leave an article down below. So if you guys do want to go read up on this deal, it's down there. So go and check it out. I don't even know what is in there. That's not what I saw though. Like that's a fridge, TV. There was someone standing like right here. Like right there. Like close to the bar. There's like another room too. Yeah, is there? Yeah. Oh yeah. We had a good chat with the owners and they actually live upstairs in the warden's office and they claim to hear and see a lot of stuff but I don't know what to expect but apparently, apparently this is a spot to go to if you want to crack down and hunt goes by a lot of people, a lot of locals, a lot of people have DM'd us about it but this spot is very cool. Yeah. 
Hello? Hello? Dude, that was a knock, babe. I think that came from the pokey's room. Think so? Mm-hmm. Did somebody just knock? Yeah, so for a moment there, there was a giant knock. Just right there. I swear there was footsteps right here. Okay, that's outside. There's somebody down here with us. Yo, that was weird. That was so weird. What do you think that was? I don't know, but that came from in one of these cells here. Cell number five, she said, is really active as well. Right here is an original stamp from the 1800s. Mm -hmm. It's still on the wall there. I don't know, there could be a lot of stuff in here that plays a big part in the hauntings. Being like right near cell five though gives me another wicked headache. And I know. like lower back pain. It's like a trickster. I get like a trickster vibe, yeah, you yeah. know? That's definitely the vibe I get. Who's in here? Are you gonna poke me? I heard you like to poke women or people. Were you executed here? I get like a weird feeling in here. Yo, it just got really eerie. Like the atmosphere just changed. Uh. No way. What the hell? Somebody here? What, what was that? No way. What was that metal bar? Something just hit a metal bar. It's gone. Is that you? The person in number five? If it was, can you make another noise? Can you hit one of the doors? That was weird, baby. That what the hell was that? I was filming you. Yeah. I was literally you filming you. Caught that. Who's down there? Make another noise. Can you move something? Okay, so we just ran into the owner and he brought us up into the attic here and there's like three attics in here and you can see right here this was the old what was that I know you. yeah that was weird as you can see this is the old roof and we are actually in a new addition right now like this used to be this used to be the outdoor window yeah and then they added the extension still only like 
1800s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that was the original roof and everything. But look at this. And you That's think, crazy, you right? That, these are the original bars from the 1800s. And they would put it on top of anywhere where the cells are so that they couldn't escape going upwards. So you and I know where everything is under here. I'm going to try to see if the dozing rods can tell us where Daniel's cell was and where Arthur's cell was. Daniel or Arthur, can you look at what this rod's doing right now? Yeah, what the hell? Okay, Daniel or Arthur, if you're here with me right now, I'm going to use these rods to communicate with you. Can you point me in the direction of where Arthur's cell was? I think it was right there. And that's right. Now, can you point me where Daniel's cell was? There's no way, baby. Thank you so much. Now, can you point me to who I am talking to by telling me which cell? Cross the rods if I'm talking to Arthur. My battery's dead. No. My battery literally just died. Really? Yeah, it's flashing red all of a sudden. I wish I could record that. Oh, shit. My battery's literally dying right now. You don't have another one on you, do you? Are you draining Omar's battery? No way. Why do you not want us to record you? If you're here, Danielle or Arthur, can you make any noise? What was that? What was that? Was that beneath us? What is that? It's like tapping and ticking from everywhere. Yo, it's weird in here. I know, it's heavy, eh? It's very heavy in here. He was saying too that the old guards would come up here and drink. My battery is dead right now. Like, it's flashing red. Like, I wish I had my phone to record that. We might pop downstairs and do more of an investigation down there. But the owner let us up here for a quick and brief time. So I think we should... Head back. It's not much up here, but it's still pretty creepy. All right, so we're gonna go into death row. Did you? What was that? What'd you hear? I just heard someone hum. It was like someone humming. Hello. Hello? Hold that up over there for a sec. Nothing, eh? Who's in here? They moved in the cell. Yeah, it can't be that pipe. It's There's not something not right in here. here. It must be whoever was here was right in front of us. Yeah, it was right there. Were you an inmate here? Yo, 
a straight up herd, someone like, oh, it was like a, like, a, like as soon as I hit record, I don't know if you guys heard that, but I heard it home. Like as soon as we were coming in here. This is where the bodies were hung mm -hmm. too. I kind of put flooring underneath it, but that's like the original, that green floor there. She said that was all original. I say we, okay, I say we sit in the cell, spend some time in here. Like as soon as I talked about that. Yeah, I think this was, um, Arthur's? Arthur Daniels. Daniel or Arthur, can we come into here? We're gonna come in, okay? We wanna communicate with you. I'm getting like nervous over here. Don't close it. Might as well. All right. You know, there's someone right here. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone here with us right now? If so, make this K2 need to go to bed. All you have to do is come standing at this meter and it will make it go off. It's gone now. Who is in here? Oh, look at that. Is this Arthur or Daniel? If it's Arthur, can you make it go to red? Is it Daniel? If it's Daniel, make it go off. If it's Arthur, make it go off. Did you hear that? I need a door or something. Yeah. I say we just like sit here in the silence for a bit. Very like weird in here. Like I get this weird like ringing in my mm -hmm. ears. Can you tell us your name? Who are you? Maybe we should introduce ourselves. My name is Lamar. My name is Chelsea, and we're both just here to communicate with you and see if you're doing all right. And who's here with us? You're going to speak through this box that's on the bed. We'll start with yes or no questions. Are you here with us right now? It's like it's on the bed. Did you not hear that? I said yes. Are you on the bed? Our device is picking you up. They're picking an energy up. Are you on the bed? questions for a bit. Are you in the cell with us? That is so going off. 
Are you on the bed? We want to talk to somebody. We heard that there were two boys in here. Still going off it. We heard that there were two boys that were executed here. Can we talk to them? We come with respect. We just want to talk to somebody. Did you say dad? Is there a message you want us to tell anyone? Don't what? crazy right now. Are you here with us? Are you sitting on the bed? No. Look at that. Hi. Honey. Is there a woman here with us right now? Two. How do you feel knowing that you were killed here? A lot of people say they can feel you, they've seen apparitions here. Are we speaking to Arthur? Are you, are you at peace, Arthur? Again, I only want to speak to Arthur right now. Are you at peace, Arthur? Yes or no? Is that you moving the door down there? In the bunk. There are bunk beds downstairs. Not only that, there is a gym here, which used to have bunks, and there was a murder in there. Are you in the gym, or are you downstairs in the bunk? Are you upstairs or downstairs? He's trying. Keep trying, we hear you. Can you try and be clearer? Are you upstairs or down? Are you in the gym? This is still going. It's still going off, eh? Let us know where you are. We'll come to you.
Who's here? Hello? My head really hurts. It's not like a headache, it's just like a pressure. This has been going off non-stop. Probably for like 10 minutes now. There it is. It seems to be on like the end of the bed. Are you down the hallway? Make this go off if you're down the hallway. Yeah, there we go. It's probably multiple here. Mm -hmm. Maybe one's telling us that it's, there's another one in the hallway. We have no idea. Whoa, there's an old mirror in that, babe. Yeah. See that? I don't like mirrors. That's crazy. What is that sound? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That just creaked behind me. That straight up just creaked behind me. Hello? Feels like someone's going like this, you know? Hey, wait. Something touched your leg. Yeah, something touched my leg. It was around here. Was that open? No. No. That was closed when we went in. We didn't open any of these. These are all, they should have all been against the wall. Maybe we should go upstairs? I don't know, but I can't believe that right now. This door. Literally just opened by itself. I'm not making this up. I saw a figure no, I bolt across the door frame, and this thing is open now. I got goosebumps Your real bad right now. Yeah. That's not chill, babe. I, I say we go upstairs, babe. 